Hello fellow 3D printers, I'm Jay Wall of Print That Thing, here to feed y'all some 3D nuggets. Oh, get that. Fender's custom 3D printed earbuds. 3dprint.com reports that Fender, a staple in music industry quality, has recently begun selling their Fender IEMs, or in-ear monitors. Fender claims that by taking thousands of scans of ears, they found this perfect design that fits up to 95% of people's ears comfortably thanks to their 3D printed housing and design. The IEMs come in several different styles and ranges of professionalism. The price range is anywhere between $100 to $500, so go get you some. The sundial structure. 3Dears.org has an article about an Amsterdam-based urban design architecture firm, Perspective, that teamed up with an engineering firm, Erupt, to modernize the sundial using 3D printing. The structure looks like a fan or a pressed flower and was made with a series of flexible 3D printed pedals. The sundial is designed with the number cutouts that replicate a digital number for the time of day. The sundial can be optimized depending on the time of year and location of the earth. While the first sundial is scheduled to be presented in Amsterdam, ideally it could be installed anywhere in the world, like my backyard which is what we're gonna do. 3D printed hair for motor actuators. And Gadget.com wrote about MIT, who has figured out how to 3D print tiny polymer strands smaller than 100 microns that essentially creates a texture a lot like hair. Or they call these hairs cilia. What's astounding about cilia is that it can be programmed to do more than just paint brushes, Velcro, and accentuating features on an object. Researchers have been experimenting with practical uses for these hairs to create accentuators that read pressure, weight, and vibrations that can be used for various applications. It's really, really cool. According to the Creators Project, MIT's Mediated Matter Research Group and Stratasys have teamed up to remix Bjork's face in a project called Rotlace that was inspired by Bjork's latest release, Volnicura, Mediated Matter Group explained that the project explored themes associated with self-healing and expressing the face without the skin. Bjork's face was scanned and then various renditions of her face were redesigned for this concept in mind. The masks are bundled, multi-material structures to mimic organic muscle textiles similar to structural integrity and movement found in someone's face or neck. what a 3D printed violin sounds like. BostonGlobe.com talks about a Formlabs engineer, Brian Chan, who designed a 3D printed violin for their Form 2 desktop printer and their updated white resin liquid material. And Rhett Price, a musician and YouTuber, worked closely with Formlabs to provide input to help with the tone, weight, and volume of the violin. If you're feeling up for making one of these, then you can go check it out and get all the files over at Pinshape. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to see some more 3D nuggets, click the little I, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.